Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another top 10 video where I talk about my top 10 favorite CDs. Now, um, I used to do a series called Collection of My Stuff where I showed a collection of some things like toys, DVDs, um, books, whatever. And I, I said at some point that I would never do one on CDs because I don't have a lot of them. Like, oh, well, we do have a lot of CDs, but none of them are mine. Well, some of these, some of these I just borrowed from my mom's CD collection. And um, as well as some ones that belong to me. So... Um, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite CDs, like, um, as I mentioned before, I don't collect that many CDs, I'm sure a lot of people don't either nowadays, but um, I just want to talk about um, my favorite CDs with some of my favorite songs, and, uh, and some of these, like, I know I'm going to leave off many other great CD albums, but the, these, I, either I don't have them, or these just aren't my favorites, if I, in case I end up do having them. So, um, let's, let's dive into um, number 10, is um, 38 Special Rock and Roll Strategy. Now this has um, one of my favorite um, 30 special songs, like the first song, Rock and Roll Strategy, which um, they actually don't play at um, any concerts I've been to when, when I saw them. So yeah, they never really um, play that song at concerts, but no, not that I recall. But this album came out in 1988. The Rock and Roll Strategy song is awesome, sounds very 80s, kind of different from the songs they usually you know, play, but it's awesome. Um, it's got... Um, What's It To Ya, another song I liked, um, Second Chance, and a lot of these songs I don't remember, but that's why it's number 10, because there's very few songs I really liked on there that I can recall, but anything with 38 Special I liked, and um, there are a few other albums, but um, I was like, sites for this list, stick one, just just one per band, so 38 Rock and Roll Strategy, um, I'm pretty sure you can like, you know, find these songs on YouTube, or of course on iTunes, um, I don't think you would get these CDs anymore, unless you're a huge CD collector of older ones titles. But anyway, this is another um, album with Rock and Roll Strategy I like and so yeah, 30 Days Special Rock and Roll Strategy at number 10. Um, at um, number 9 is Baja Men Who Let The Dogs Out. I'm sure many of you in my generation remember this um, CD. You probably had it or you heard the song. Um, yeah, there were a lot of songs on there. Um, Baja Men was like a, I don't know, was it like, yeah, Baja Men, like a Caribbean, ba Bahamas, um, kind of band that aren't really around anymore. They used to, like, they were pretty big when I was a kid, like in the early 2000s, late 90s. So, yeah, it has tons of songs on there. Um, it has that Barking Mad Mix, who let the dogs out, but I like the original one better. I remember seeing the music video on TV. Um, I don't remember what channel. I'm sure it was not MTV. Um, it has, it has a lot of great songs on there. Um, but none of the songs that you heard in some movies that are in there. Like, Who Let the Dogs Out, I remember, was from Rugrats in Paris. And the other ones were from Croc and Hunter Collision Course, um, that Man buys a freaking mean ass movie and Scooby Doo. Yeah, so um, so it's not the one, not the movie mix song, whatever the title's called. But and this is another album I'm used. I used to listen to a lot as a kid, and I had this since it was new. This is now holy crap, 17 years old. I can't believe I still have it. Let me get the seats back up here. I got interrupted halfway while I was talking about the 38 special CD. Now um, at number eight is um, Bare Naked Ladies Stunt. Just making sure it's um, pronounced right. Um, it has a lot of songs on here. Um, it's got, you know, the song, One week since you looked at me, and as I said, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's not the right words. Um, it's all been done in the one I like. There's a lot of songs. Um, like, I, I know the Bare Naked Ladies, the band, for years. Um, but, um, like, um, when I was in North Carolina a few summers ago, um, this is the C one of the CDs my mom and I would play all the time. Like, on our car trip from North Carolina to back, and, and we even saw them in concert last summer. And, you know, they also sung the the, the Big Bang Theory theme song. So, yeah, um, this is the album that um, I really liked. I don't think I ever listened to any of them, any others, but, um, but um, yeah, that's, that's number eight, Bare Naked Ladies Stunt. Um, and number seven is, um, and um, the CD is actually missing. Um, a long time ago, uh, my mom had these CDs in her car and somebody broke them and stole them. We never saw them again. So, um, yeah, but we still got the case. Thank God I still have the cases to show you. The Giant Twain with um, Come On Over. Um, this has a lot of songs on here. I like, like, man, I feel like a woman, and um, from this moment on, and um, what, what's one? That don't impress me much. Yeah, some of these songs I think about doing animations on if I could. So, um, but yeah, this has this has a lot of great songs. You know, I I, I like I like her, and I really wish I saw her in concert. I know she's not doing this much anymore. But, um, Shania Twain, come on over, that's at number seven. And number six is, um, Tommy Petty and the Heartbreakers Greatest Hits. There's a lot of songs that are my favorites, and some of them I actually have done animations on. I've done one on American Girl, Refugee, 
Don't do me like that. Um, don't come around here no more. Yeah, I've done that one. Run down, dream, free, fallen. Um, I never done one onto the great wide open. I kind of done that in uh, my first Steve Irwin tribute video with pictures, not footage. Um, but but this one has it's, it's a really cool album. Um, again, it has a lot of classic songs I listened to ever since I was very young, and uh, <laughs> that was the same age as me. So um, so yeah, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. I want I wonder I wonder if they're still around. Maybe Tom Petty solo. I don't know. Now at number five is Matchbox 20, Yourself or Someone Like You. This has a lot of great songs on here. I was going through some Matchbox 20 CDs because we have a lot of those. And I couldn't remember the one and I was like, oh, this is one. It has so many favorite songs like Real World, 3AM, Push, um, Long Day. And there's some, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some songs I may have forgotten to mention, but there's some on this um, CD, just like 12 of them. Um, and, uh, and like, a few of the ones I'm going to listen to while I'm like, um, like edit the video after I get, I get done filming this. Like these songs are really cool, and um, Matchbox Twenty is a really cool band. So Matchbox Twenty, yourself or someone like you, in number five, and number four, um, out of the Aerosmith um, albums. This is like my favorite. Um, this one's Nine Lives. Now there's a lot of songs I use as animations, and some of my, like uh, like my favorite Aerosmith song of all times. I don't want to miss a thing, but it's not on this album. On these I ones, Nine Lives, um, Pink. What else did I use? Full Circle, Falling in Love, and Hold My Soul. Um, I, 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 I've always liked Aerosmith. I was so lucky to see them in concert a few years ago. And um, I heard at some point that they're going to, like, you know, end. Like, the band's going to, like, break up later this year or something. I don't know. But, um, so, yeah, this is, this is, this is a pretty, pretty cool album. Even the Pink Music video you have to check out. It's one of the craziest music videos I've seen. And the song, like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you listen to it when you're a really young kid, like I didn't listen to this song until I was like a teenager, so I knew because my mom explained to me what the song was really about. Strange, huh? So, um, so yeah, Nine Lies, my fourth favorite um, album. And number three is Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. My mom had the chance to see him last year, like, like I don't know, three hours away from here, like not out of state. Um, this is his, this is one of his famous um, albums. Um, and um, I saw, um, if you watch one of my video watch where I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, it has his album and his clothes, his scene in there, like the, his jeans and the shirt and the hat. Um, it has a lot of, a lot of songs I like, like Born in the USA, um, Glory Days, Dancing in the Dark, which I've done an animation on, and Born in the USA is another one I've done an animation on a few years ago for Fourth of July. So yeah, this is a very cool album, that's number three. Um, number two, <laughs> this was like a childhood favorite of mine. And um, I don't have that many movie soundtracks either, but this one I listened to a lot as a kid. And you know, if you know me, I'm a huge, massive Austin Powers fan. I got the Austin Powers and Gold Member Motion Picture soundtrack. And um, yeah, the only song I've done an animatch on there was Shining Star. And I'm thinking about doing an Evil Woman one. Well, it's just like like a zero video, not an animatch. I'm thinking about doing another zero video. On... But um, this album I listened to a lot. These are some songs you heard in the movie. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it has Awesome Powers with Mickey saying Daddy wasn't there. Doctor, he was seeing Hard Knock, Hard Knock Life. Um, the Britney Spears seeing Boys. And, got, of course, it got Beyonce Knowles seeing Work It Out. So, I, 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 I've always liked this album as a kid. I can't believe, I don't think I've worn this thing out. And this is, um, this is the inside here. And, uh, it's got the, ooh, it's falling apart. And it's got the CD. Pretty cool. So, yeah, I can't believe I kept this thing, but, yeah, and I have another awesome Powers up, like, this, for the second movie, but, um, but this one I listened to a lot as a kid, mainly during homework when I wasn't supposed to, so that's number two. Now, now, I picked this for number one, because, um, like, these has very funny songs, and actually, I don't think you can get these seeds, and for those of you who watch my, um, VMC videos, my VMash comedy series, you may have um, heard some songs, like, there's, there's many C's on here, but I'm only going to pick one. Um, this one, let me, like, try to, to explain. Jeff Walker and the Wag Jobs Alice, this one's the, the first one I have, um, Slightly Detective. There are a few others. Now, um, Jeff Walker is a ra local radio DJ I listen to on the radio here in Northeast Pennsylvania, occasionally. Not in a while, though. Um, 90.5 KRZ. Um, they have, like, parody songs, like, um, Welcome to the Jungle, which is a parody of, um, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. Um, Sweet Home Pennsylvania, a parody of, of um, Sweet Home Alabama. And there were a few other ones. 
And um, some of these I actually have done like um, BMC song. Like you have to look like them. I've done one of the PFC, PMS song, Endless Hell. Um, I'm Tattoo Babe. Like I couldn't do I couldn't do the BMCs on all these songs because it's like some of them are like really too inappropriate or I don't think they would work or some of them I could have thought would work at the time if they were still like there's like there's some songs of Michael Jackson. This CD came out in 2004, so um and the Trump song I used as well before you know during the time he was on the Celebrity Apprentice and not during you know his press as president and you know his during his um, election days yeah that. <clears throat> You know, there's some like Michael, like Michael Jackson. This was like I said during 2004. I think this is when he was charged for a second time for, you know. So, um, like if he was, if Michael Jackson were still alive today, I would be probably doing these songs, but I can't right now, um, because it'd be too disrespectful. I will never do them. But um, yeah, like these whack job C's are very funny. It's got a ton of funny songs, and uh, so um, so yeah. If you ever watch my BMC videos, wondering where I got these songs, this is where I got them from. Like you can't get them anywhere else, but. Whack Job C's, top favorite CDs. I just, I just can't pick one. So, um, but that's number one. And um, let me know um, what your thoughts on some of these albums are. Have I missed any? Um, and what some of your favorite albums? I would like to know. And um, yeah, some of these songs I would like recommend you check out on iTunes. Like I said, you know, some of these CDs, like I don't, unless you come across the antique store or somebody's garage sale, you may find them. I don't know, except for the Whack Job CDs. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my video talking about my top 10 favorite CDs. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.